Hello and welcome to this week's Wednesday message from Lantos, which I am giving you on Thursday. We had a live lecture yesterday and it was about what to do in preparation for hurricanes. But then, shortly after last night's lecture, Lantos gave Cindy a message about the current hurricane, Hurricane Lane. And I thought that it would be good to get you this information at the same time. So here is the information that Lantos provided about the current hurricane. And then after that, I'm going to provide you with the information that I provided yesterday during the live lecture. But first, let's talk about the current hurricane and what Lantos said last night. Cindy asked Lantos first, was there anything we should be doing to prepare for the landfall of this hurricane? Lantos said, it is very good. Yes, very good. Yes, it is a great joy to announce the presence of the early rays of the great star of Genesis, the great energies of the mighty star of Genesis, the arrival of the energies of the great star of Genesis, the arrival of the great form of light for Earth in our beloved eon of eternal light. Yes, it is a great joy. Our beloved great star of Genesis will ignite the energies of Earth within this mighty cosmic realm. Our precious knowledge of the flying seed has opened the gates for the beloved great star of Genesis. Yes, the gates are open. The elements rise up in the presence of the higher energies. The winds, the waves, the earth, the fires the elements of the unseen, all rise in awakening, all respond in purification. The knowledge of the flying seed has been issued at the great central seat, knowledge of the flying seed, no the knowledge of creation. Teachers have received this precious knowledge of creation, the knowledge of the 81 seeds of creation, the precious knowledge of fullness of the flying seed has been enlivened at the great central seat and at our beloved eastern gate of knowledge. 81 seeds of creation. 81 star seeds. Yes, the seeds are sublime. Each seed contains fullness. Fullness of the brilliant radiance of the realms of creation. 81 precious star seeds. Precious star seeds. Yes, star seeds. As we enliven the knowledge of the star seeds, we enliven the mighty energies which will bring about the conversion from the lower levels of energy to the higher levels of vib vibration of this earth. The elements will respond to the call to shake off the lower frequencies. The structure of this earth must receive the higher vibrations of energy. This process is a process of transformation. We are in the realm of the great star of Genesis. This star has other names as well. Yet we are correct in issuing the title Genesis, as this name means inception. This mighty star is the marker of our realm. It is the great seed of our realm. It is the inception seed for our realm. The marker of knowledge and experience for all to enjoy. At moments of great change, our beloved mighty marker has shown its radiance. In times past, this mighty star has produced the light for the seekers of light. Now, as we proceed in the eon of eternal light, our beloved star seed will radiate in fullness. It is the light of the beloved seat of inception for our own sublime realm. The energies emitting from our beloved mighty star may bring disruption at times to the material layers as the light increases. The elements may generate disruption in the process of purification and regeneration. The eighth seed, the eighth star seed, is the precious seed associated 
with our world mother. As we receive the higher energies, we may bring greater stability through enlivening the eighth seed. Yes, this may soften the nature of this often disruptive process of introduction of higher energies. We gain knowledge. We gain experience of all realms, and this process opens the gates for higher energy to flow into our material realm. This knowledge is enlivened through the practice of creating with our sublime star seeds. 81 seeds. 81 star seeds of cosmic energies. Star seeds. Through the enlivenment of our precious star seeds, we bring forth the mighty currents of energy from the totality of all realms of creation. The flying seed is the knowledge from our beloved master teacher, Tote. Our precious star seeds are the markers offering the knowledge and experience of all realms to all who seek. It is the knowledge of fullness, fullness of all creation, fullness of all time, fullness of all. This is the great knowledge of fullness. Yes, through this knowledge, all is possible. Yes. This is the message for the world. Through this precious knowledge, all is possible. The lands and the waters will respond to the call of this age of light. It is time. It is the time as the eon of eternal light brings with it the cosmic wave of change. Now, let us practice our art of creating with our precious seeds as we have received the supreme blessings of this eternal knowledge of existence. So we will enliven the eighth seed. This is the seed of the world mother. Do your creating practice using the flying seed with this wheel, the dark blue progress wheel in the position of the eighth seed, which is actually on the chamber of eternal light inside the flying seed itself. And you will create using the phrase song of the deep. So do this to help raise the vibratory level of earth to help smooth this period of transformation. But it is important for us to remember that this is something clearly from Lantos's message we're going to be facing quite a bit of in the coming months, perhaps in the coming years. And so what we do is we enliven this eighth seed to help soften this period of transformation for the earth. Okay, let's take a look at some of the other things that we spoke about yesterday evening. Map work. Lantos had many years ago, 18 years ago, uh, instructed us to treat the map using placing the tools directly on the map. So for a hurricane, what he said to do is print out a map of the hurricane and of the piece of land that the hurricane is approaching, and then place the tools on it. You will place a shield, a first rays bio trinity, wings of Genesis, and eight-sided pyramid on the map on the land if possible, otherwise on the hurricane itself. Ring the bell of Genesis over the map, over the shield over the map, and do this several times. Now, here is a picture of the hurricane as it is approaching Hawaii. This picture was taken uh, before yesterday's live lecture, so it is now much closer to Hawaii. Here is the picture printed out on a table with those tools that Lanto said to use. And here, is those, here are those tools on the picture itself. Now, you can also do the creating technique in addition to doing the flying seed for the eighth seed, which is the most important one, since that's the instruction Lantos just gave us. He also gave us instructions 
some time ago, several years ago, using the creating technique, he said, the quality technique to settle the roaring nature of the winds and the ability technique with the aqua bio trinity. So remember quality, dimension, object, and ability. These are the four quadrants of creation. We place our desire in quality. So that means using the smaller medium bio amplifier in the right hand, pinned end of eternal light in the left hand, and the desire will be for settling the roaming, the roaring nature of the winds. Then you will do the ability technique. So again, creating just using the bio trinities. You will specifically use the aqua bio trinity and you can use any set of two opposites. It does not have to relate to the hurricane itself. If you wanted it to relate to the hurricane, you could do stormy calm or windy calm, uh, rainy, calm, something like that. But you can also do just light, dark, hot, cold, any normal set of opposites along those lines. Now, Lantus also said you can place a written desire under the translator and the amplifier for the redirection of the storm or the calming of the storm and place it on Hawaii with the slanted oval face of the amplifier facing toward the hurricane. Now, if you happen to be in Hawaii, and you are in the direct path of the hurricane or if it spawns any tornadoes and you're in the direct path of a tornado. Here is what Lanto said to do. If you hear the winds approaching, hang a shield above the front door. You may even use tape if it is a great hurry or simply place it on the floor by the front door. Those were his instructions specifically for a tornado, but it would be also relevant to a hurricane. Okay, everyone, thanks for joining me. And please do, if you have your flying seed, enliven the eighth seed, the seed of the world mother, so that we can assist Hawaii in having a smooth period of transformation with this hurricane. And this is an instruction that we are going to probably have to revisit several times in the coming weeks, months, and years as Earth goes through this period of transformation. Everyone, have a great rest of your week. I will see you on Sunday.